Hi, this is Kat Sturtz from rockingyourpath.com. And today I'm going to share my three goals for when I decided to participate in the April 2020 Ultimate Blog Challenge. This is a challenge that uh, a business friend of mine, Paul Taubman, hosts now. It used to be run by some other people. It was actually uh, started by another business friend years ago, Connie Reagan Green. I haven't participated in many years, and the reasons were many. Um, sometimes I signed up and then just didn't do it, but this time I made a commitment, and that was my first goal, to finish the challenge by writing or preparing a new post and publishing it every day throughout the month of April. Now today is April 27th, so we've only got a few more days left. I am right on target to finish and complete that goal, and then I can tick off that as done. I had another reason for doing this. I've been in the process of re uh, designing the layout of my website. I'm introducing some new brand colors, some new formats, and I realized that I was missing some cornerstone content, some posts that really represented who I was, what I teach about, what I coach about, my feelings about certain things in life and business as both a business life mentor and the purgatory relief coach for people who think marketing is hell. So that was my goal number two, was to make sure that during the month of April, I created some posts that I could identify as cornerstone content on my site. The third goal I had set at the beginning was because of this redesign I was doing of the website and because I'd never settled on, oh, some branding images for my posts. I wanted to work out, work that out and see what I could come up with. I've taken a couple Canva courses. I bought some uh, Canva templates. And while I didn't use any of those specifically, I did get some ideas that I wanted to pursue. And I ended up with not just one type of brand post image for my site, I ended up with several. And that really represents the eclectic nature of myself and my business. So I ended up with one for basic blog posts. And that's probably the one you saw at the beginning of this video. Two, I came up with a way to highlight my quickie tech tips. And that was based on the first one, but there were slight changes in font and uh, how they were represented. I also created one for the Virtual Summit series replays that I had decided to feature during this month. The Virtual Summit was delivered live last September. Um, and I put it together and hosted the event. It was actually a part of a challenge for the Stretch Yourself Challenge back then, but I had never really released the individual replays for each of the five speakers. And deciding to do that gave me an opportunity to work out how I wanted those replays to look. And in doing so, I discovered that I really liked the format that I came up with, and it supported my next goal, which was to be able to go forward by being able to repurpose the content that I had done in April. So I'm putting together now a course, not only with those replays, but also with the extra tips that I added to each post that were designed to help someone else easily host their very first summit online. So that's checked off. The last 
goal I had set is for some business networking, which was a big deal the very first time I participated in this challenge back when Michelle um, Sism, that was her name then, and Michelle Schaefer were hosting it. There were a lot of people that I now consider business friends that were um, active in the ultimate blog challenges back then and i was able to connect with them and network with them over time that goal happened at a oh in a lesser degree i'm not disappointed with the connections i've made i'm very happy that my primary goals were all met but i realized that i there weren't other people participating um, that were necessarily in my main uh, target networking realm. So um, that was the status of that one. But so those were more than three goals, but the other extra ones developed as I got into the month. So again, my main three goals for participating in the April 2020 challenge ultimate blog challenge were one i wanted to make a commitment to myself to actually post uh, new material that i wrote and put together during the month of august one a day for the entire month i'd been real slack on posting new content so that goal was met two was to make sure that among those 30 posts that i did uh, several I could identify as cornerstone content, content that represented me and my business um, style and my coaching style, my teaching style, what I covered as a business life mentor. And the third major one was to come up with a brand post image design. And that ended up being successful as well. I actually came up with several designs that I will be continuing to use going forward. There was the basic post image one. There was the techie quick tech tip one, which is a mouthful to say. I also have my Sunday, uh, my spotlight Sunday format as well. And I've used that three times already this month. And I really like the style of that one. Uh, they're all different, but they, there is still, I believe, a cohesiveness that represents my overall uh, brand. So that's it for today's post. I'm going to summarize that in the uh, copy below this, so you'll be able to get just the highlights or watch this video blog post. Bye for now.